Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my October favorite. If you watched my last video, my vlog, I unboxed several pieces that I purchased myself from Lily Silk. I think there were four pieces. I ordered a fifth piece that is in the mail as of the filming of this. So I am a huge fan anyway. And when they reached out to work with me again, I was more than thrilled. They sent me a few pieces here to feature, to share with you. And I'm so glad to try their cashmere. So this is one of their cashmere sweaters. This is offered in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six colors. This is in honey mustard. And I love a good camel toned sweater, especially for the fall and in cashmere. So silk and cashmere are amongst my favorite materials. Love cashmere for the winter. This is very soft. Sometimes I'll wear a silk underneath, but this one's very soft. So nothing itchy about this cashmere. This is 100% a grade Mongolian cashmere. So if you're interested in something in addition to silk, this is beautiful. And I ordered a large here. I'll show you a full length picture of this. Maybe I'll have to move over a little bit to show you a video of what this looks like styled up with some of the pants that I picked up from Lily Silk last week. This is a classic design in terms of the cut of this turtleneck and it says here it's made from ethically sourced cashmere. So if you are interested in cashmere, I love also the other shade I was considering was the gray. I always love a good gray shade and black is always a great staple. So any of these colors would be beautiful because they're all quite neutral and quite versatile. So if you're interested in just a lovely staple, I love these kinds of products, which is why I purchased from Lily Silk, is because they are staple items that I wear over and over again and they travel really, really well. They also sent over this scarf. So I have it in my hair. You can wear it several ways and it's quite generous in terms of the width here, but it looks really beautiful. I love the tones in this blue because there's a little bit, just a little bit of a teal in there. So I think it's a really rich kind of shade. I love that, especially with this kind of color where there's a little bit of warmth here. And then you have more of that rich um, blue shade, but again, with a little bit of teal. I love this shade. I think it's so beautiful. You can wear it like this. You can tie it around your neck. You can style this one several different ways, but I love it in the hair. I think it's so pretty. This is a Charmeuse Silk Glossy Soft Smooth. So it does have that glossier finish, but it makes it look really rich. Uh, the size on this is 49.2 by 4 point seven inches and I think makes a lovely gift as well and this is handmade so the sizes may vary slightly they also sent this over and I'll again show close-ups and a full-length view of how I style this I've got this paired with the black trousers that I purchased from Lily Silk again previous so I'll show you that with this and this is the Louisville print silk shirt and I picked mine up in the size medium. This is an updated version of their box pleated silk shirt. So this one's a twill silk and it says it's stout and wrinkle resistant. And I'll just show you how I style it here. And I think it's again one of those versatile things you can wear with, I always say it, jeans, you can wear it with a skirt, you can wear it with, like I said, those black pants that I picked up from Lily Silk. They work with TerraCycle, a world known recycling company committed to zero waste production. They are environmentally conscious. So their silk is sourced from mulberry trees requiring less water than cotton to grow. And they make items from natural fibers instead of synthetic. This is 100% natural premium material like mulberry silk, which is known as the queen of fibers and Mongolian cashmere, which is soft gold. And they say they never stop innovating and that's true because every time I look on their site, they have innovative new designs. So if you are interested in Lily Silk, I will leave a link below as well as a discount code for you. So I will post that here. So make sure to take advantage of that. I use the code myself when I purchase things. So make sure to use the link and discount code so you can save on your purchase. And one of the things I love most about Lily Silk, again, their clothing packs really well. It takes up very little space, which is why I don't buy a lot of clothing these days. And if I do, it's going to be something like Lily Silk products because they pack easily. I can wash them in the sink and they dry so quickly as well. Thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring this part of the video. Let's jump into favorites. So I love 
a more natural look for the base these days, and I'm so glad that Chanel has come back in stock with the Water Fresh tint. So I have mine here in medium plus, and the reason I wasn't using this is because I did not see it in stock anywhere, and I didn't want to use it up because that's how much I love this product. I was afraid I was not going to be able to replace this, but Recently, the Chanel site has restocked in every shade. So I have a really light layer of this on because I'm a little bit foundation averse right now. I am really staying away from foundation. I feel like I don't need it. That's one of the reasons. And I really like the look of more natural skin. Now I'm going to be testing out uh, the Chanel concealer and one of their existing foundations very soon because I'm trying to get through the whole line of Chanel foundations. I'm almost there, but I really enjoy like no foundation these days. So this is as close to no foundation as I can get right now. And I love that with the Water Fresh Complexion Touch. So this is like the lightest weight concealer I can get as well. So it's again, as close to no makeup, makeup as I can get. But I also do have on this Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint, which has made appearances in many Many, many favorites. It made an appearance in the most recent uh, Game Changing Innovation video. I have it under the eye as well. So again, allowing for less makeup as well. So make sure you see that if you haven't caught up with that video yet. I have a few skincare items here. We've got the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum by Merit. Look how much I've used. That's how much I enjoy using this. And I also ordered one for my mom to try during the Sephora sale because she always compliments my skin when I have this on because I FaceTime her in the evening and it's typically right after I've applied this because I kind of let it soak in for a little bit and then I continue with skincare. So she's always saying, what is on your skin? It looks so pretty and it's this. So I've been loving this. Apply it morning and evening. Oh, I forgot to include this. Whoops. I wanted to include this. <laughs> totally forgot. The Victoria Beckham highlighter because I've just been taking a little of this. My skin has been on the drier side recently. So I'm taking this and I'm just uh, putting on the back of my hand and then just tapping onto the high points. Just adds a really pretty, I don't know if you can see, a really pretty glow. Subtle, subtle, subtle. I for totally forgot this in the Get Ready With Me video. Oops. Let me go get my other skincare items, hold on, because they're really good. So I grabbed my skincare that I've been loving and this is kind of a big deal that I'm even trying something new for my eye area because I love my skincare routine. I'm quite loyal to it, but this company sent me some products to try. It's Autour and I've got the Definitive Eye Cream here. And one of the reasons I was willing to try this is because it's one step. It's for minimalists or people who love minimal skincare and I am the opposite. I am a skincare maximalist. I love all the products. But I thought, let me try this because I'm trying to integrate more tools into my routine, more beauty devices, and that takes time. So if there's somewhere I can cut out steps, I thought, let me at least try it. So I've been trying out their eye cream. It's the definitive, definitive eye cream. Look how beautiful this bottle is. Um, and it says here, and I'm gonna read it because there's a lot that goes into this, and I think that's what I really appreciate about them is they have so many active ingredients, as much as I can pack in there. High active smoothing and skin firming eye cream engineered to rejuvenate the delicate eye area, restore hydration and protect against future signs of aging, reduce fine lines and crow's feet with intelligent peptides and phytoactive ingredients, and they list many of these, um, designed specifically to nourish and improve the eye area. Peptide performance and bioavailability is enhanced up to 90% with golden collagenine or collagenine, a sophisticated ingredient delivery system featuring gold and platinum particles capable of rejuvenating fibroblast activity and stimulating collagen synthesis. Reveal a smoother, hydrated, and more refined eye area. So I've been enjoying this. It's really easy to apply. You've got a pump here, and just a little goes a long way. A really nice cream, so you've got a pump like this. So I've been integrating that in. I've also been using this one. This is their Definitive Lifting Toner, and it's not in a, like a bottle that you would apply to a cotton pad, although you can, but it's a spray. So I actually have been spraying this on and I use that with my current 
uh, body face mask. I'll put an image here because it's charging right now. That's another tool I'm integrating is that mask. So this one says a high active toner that increases radiance, improves expression lines, and prompts more useful cellular functions while restoring hydration to the skin. Definitive lifting toner doubles as a mist on serum and delivers lifting, firming, and regenerative results to the skin after cleansing or throughout the day. So you can apply this on top of makeup as well. I think I tried that in the vlog when I unboxed this. Next Generation Peptide X50 Photo Glow converts light into cellular energy, stimulating fibroblast growth and collagen formation to improve skin density and increase luminosity and skin radiance. So again, they said this was appropriate to use with that mask I'm using. So I have been doing that just to see what the results will be like. I've been using it for about two weeks. I was out of town for a little bit. So I'm going to say two weeks at this point. Otur Hyaluronic Complex and Penta Pentavitin, a naturally derived skin identical carbohydrate complex, immediately restores hydration throughout all layers of the skin, minimizing signs of lines, stress, and dehydration. So I've been integrating this as well. Now, I loved talking to them because they really heard about what my skincare routine currently was and wanted to find ways to integrate specific products that they have into what I'm already doing. So not totally changing up my routine, although you can with this line, you can go really minimal if you like. But one of the things, and this is kind of like a silly thing, but their caps here are so substantial. Like you can see the size that I actually put the cap back on. So they are not only beautiful, but functional, gorgeous bottle here. I love the way they look like on a vanity, beautiful. But yeah, I do end up, this is the only skincare product where I actually put the lid back on. I've got a couple more products for them I'm continuing to test out, but those two have really made their way into the routine, enjoying both of those. So for concealer, of course, I went in with Clay de Peau right on the corners of my eyes, even though I used the complexion touch here, I didn't use any heavy duty concealers in the front, just the complexion touch, and then the clay de peau in the corners. And then I also, of course, went in with my La Prairie right there. It just makes all the difference. For powders, I still love the Chantecaille Perfect Blur Powder. I haven't had a chance to try the new one, the holiday one yet, but I want to. It's supposed to be more of like a radiant finish. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really interested. So I love this, of course, with the Buff and Blur brush. Buff, buff and blur brush. Um, of course, I love this still. Shiseido, I applied it with this. My new favorite powder, so that's again why I'm curious about the difference, is the Charlotte Tilbury here, the air brush that I have uh, on today, of course. It just does a beautiful job of providing a little bit of a lift to the face, blurring, and also the tiniest bit of glow. I think it's so beautiful. So I love those two together. Brows, my go-to routine has been the Chanel Brow Duo here, but just the powder side. And then I go in with the Dior uh, Onset Brow. That's a really lovely, very, very quick combination. Nice and soft. I really like this for fall too. So I think it's so pretty. Nothing shiny here in terms of the brow powder. That's why I enjoy brow powder. And I think it just looks so pretty and soft. So for eyes, I have here the Dior Khaki Palette. Again, I have that on today. I applied it a little bit differently today. I really maximized this uh, Hourglass Eyeliner. You'll see the applications because I went in with this first and then I built with the Dior Palette. But I just love the green. I think green and brown eyes really stunning together. So if you have brown eyes, you're really gonna see them pop with this kind of palette. Especially this deep green is so beautiful. I don't think I have a deep shade with like a green tone in it. I don't think I do. Usually it's like a gray or brown or even a navy, but in terms of green, that's why I think this is a really unique palette. Beautiful blending shade here for the crease. Lovely, I just think this is the prettiest, prettiest palette, especially for this time of year. And then the eyeliner, the voyeur. I, I think I said it in the get ready with me, I think. As of the filming of this, it's still the Sephora sale, so I might pick up one, another one, just because I'm really happy with this one. And this is the one in Forest. We also have, for my mascara, I love the Tower 28, but this is still my all-time favorite because it has the peptides in there and it's a beautiful lash anyway. Never go wrong with this one. It's the Chantecaille Faux Seal Longest Lash Mascara. Um, for lips, I'm gonna throw this in again by Rado. It is the one in Phantom. Still loving this. I pulled this out of my 
bag to do another video, but this one is in flushed. Love this product. It's nice and hydrating, different than any other lip product that I have. Very lip conditioning. Color looks beautiful. It goes on evenly, it's opaque, wears away beautifully. Not a liquid lipstick at all, but it's also not a gloss. That's the best way I can describe it is what it's not. It's not a liquid lipstick, it's not a gloss, but it provides the coverage as if it were a liquid lip and it provides hydration as if it were a gloss, but it's different than a gloss because a gloss once wiped away doesn't leave that conditioning effect, but this one does. So love that Byredo product. And it's one of those things that took me a long time to figure out like, what was different about this. And it took me a while to love it and realize what it was. So I love those two. I have it in a brighter shade, but I don't pull for that one as much as I pull for flushed. For blush, you know, I love this. I just say it again, this NARS blush. I realized if they just sold this separately, I would definitely buy it. This shade right here, that's the shade, uh, uh, Limelight, I think. Or I can never, I don't know why. I feel like my spatial perception's pretty good, but when it's listed like this and I'm trying to compare it to the inside, I don't know why I get so turned around. It's very strange. Because, you know what, if this was upside down, like this, that's why, I think because I have to flip it. Anyway, this shade right here that I think is so pretty, so I have that on right now. Yeah, I love that it's not a powdery finish at all. It just looks really natural. It's like it's part of the skin. Did I not say, this is a Victoria Beckham, sorry, the highlighter in um, Pearl. That's the one that I added here that I didn't even really talk about, I just added it. For bronzer, I went in with the Merit bronzing product. So pretty, it's so easy to use. I traveled with this. Looks beautiful every time. I really do like like a quick base makeup these days and this is part of that routine where it's like water fresh tint, water fresh complexion touch, and then this. So love those three together. And that is in the shade Sen. So I'm not sure if I talked about everything I applied to my face, let me think. Base makeup, powders, brow, eye, mascara, lip, oh lip, lip, lip. There was a box with everything in it and it fell down. That's why I'm not sure if I've talked about everything I need to talk about. Um, that took a second. Okay, this is the Chanel lip, and this is one of their holiday shades. This is a Rouge Allure Lustre. It's one of these where you go like this, and it's um, one of the interchangeable ones. And this one is in the shade, it's in eight, oh my, I might have said 524. I think it's in 824. <laughs> Rose Invincible or Rose Invisible. I'm not sure if this is in English or in French, not sure, but this is the shade I have on now. It was probably my favorite thing in all of the Chanel products that I tried. If you didn't see that video, make sure to watch it. Um, but I haven't really touched any of the Chanel products since then, except for this lip. There's another lip product that I wore a little while, but out of the lip products, this one's my favorite one. Actually, out of all of the Chanel holiday products, this is my favorite one. As always, I will do a get ready with me featuring all of the products I just talked about, and you'll get to see everything in action, how I got this eye look. It was really easy. I feel like I gravitate more towards easier looks. The um, base piece was really easy as well, um, so I feel like I'm getting faster with my makeup. I used to spend all kinds of time, and I really like spending less time now and getting really nice results. So make sure to tune into that in case you're interested. But thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I am a huge customer of Lily Silk anyway, and so I'm very, again, glad to be able to work with them. So thank you so much. And make sure to use the link below as well as the code because it'll get you a nice discount. And I will leave all that information for you. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.